Hey family, we're reading the Quran and we're on Surah 90 called Ballad. And before we start, A'udhu Billah Minna Shaitan Al Rajim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I do call to witness this city, and thou art a freeman of this city, and the mystic ties of parent and child. Verily, we have created man into toil and struggle. So basically letting you know you weren't born in a nursery basket, right? Thinketh he not that none hath power over him? Sometimes our egos do get like that. He must say boastfully, Wealth have I squandered in abundance. Thinketh he that none hath beholdeth him? Have we not made for him a pair of eyes? And a tongue and a pair of lips and shown him the two highways but he hath made no haste on the path that is steep made no haste on the path that is steep and what will explain to thee the path that is steep it is freeing the bondman or the giving of food in a day of privation to the orphan with claims of relationship or to the indignant down in the dust, then will he be of those who believe and enjoy patience, constancy, and self-restraint, and enjoy deeds of kindness and compassion. Such are the companions of the right hand. But those who reject our signs, they are unhappy companions of the left hand, and on them will be fire vaulted over all round. Vaulted over all round, so no escape. If you're in a vault, you can't get out. You're systematically held in next section is a shams okay so ballad was petite but powerful and potent as always freeing the bondsmen or giving of food on a day of privation again the uh, helping people out because look it says wealth have I squandered in abundance like you haven't put it to good use and then it gives you the example of where you can put it to good use on helping others, not just getting that Rolex, right? Very interesting. 